financing for millions of small businesses remains a dream too far. The simple reason their activities are not traceable. It's estimated that allowing 22 million adult Ugandans borrow. But out of the 22 million people that borrow, only 10% borrow from the, the conventional financial institutions. So the other biggest percentage, which is 90, is actually borrowing from the circles, from VSLAA, from the telecos. And that data is not available in the mainstream credit information space. Barriers, the power the of technology problem, is attempting to remove, says the Unigrid boss, a private credit reference bureau recently approved by Bank of Uganda. Of course, for us, the future of credit information sharing is to include the unbanked and, and build a more holistic approach to, you know, to bring on board people who are not visible to the banks. So, um, and, and banks are, are scaling. They are looking for data available in that space to help them scale and reach the last mile borrower. But of course, without the data, it becomes a little bit tricky for the banks to scale. So that's a gap that we are closing. Industry observers are concerned that despite such milestones in the digital financial services space, there are policy gaps that need to be plugged to protect consumers going forward. And as financial sector deepening would feel like this is very exciting, there are still so many things that have to be in place to allow this to work effectively. First and foremost, the new credit reference bureau regulations need to be passed to allow this to happen and to open up the market to other players as well. Um, right now, this is not the case. For every user on our platform, we sign a consent form before we actually collect information from them, before we give them a credit report. And what that means is it's also in compliance with the Data Protection Act. Such is the story of authentic business models with solutions out to address the financing needs of micro and small enterprises that are too small, fragmented and complicated to serve for mainstream financial service providers.